So I'm gonna clean the site really well. Another thing to remember is we wanna give this time to dry, obviously. You don't wanna inject alcohol into you. Um, and Lopinox as it is, is, you know, can stink. So. Okay, so here is my pen. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. This is my Lovenox injection. This is, as I mentioned, a daily dose. So we're gonna take off the little shield cover here, and you can see the needle. You can see how it's definitely longer than a diabetic needle, um, so we really do need to make sure it's a you know, deep subcutaneous injection. This right here is the plunger, so we're gonna push our medication in. You'll notice if you turn around your Lovenox, you might see a little air bubble in there. That's okay. Don't try to get rid of the air bubble. Just go ahead and do the whole injection. Okay, so I've cleaned my area. I've given it time to dry. I'm gonna go ahead and hold onto the plunger and get a nice big chunk of skin here. Okay, and I'm gonna just go in. Another thing with injections, you wanna go in um, not super fast and also not really slow. Um, but this, this is the part that really does not stay. It's more of just the medication. So what, can you see that okay? One, two, three. So now we're inside and I'm just gonna squeeze that medication in. Once it's all done going in and I can't push the plunger anymore, don't push the plunger too hard now. We wanna take it out. All done, I'm not gonna rub the site. I'm just gonna leave it alone. 